It's very exciting, uh, the changes, because it's moving so much more from traditional to where in 1990, where we did the CNC, and it was subtractive manufacturing, to now where it's so much more efficient to move into the 3D printing, where we actually, every piece that is printed goes on the product rather than chipping it away. And it's very exciting to release the potential of people to see if you can dream it, you can print it. Well, a lot of the efficiencies come by the fact that today a lot of the pattern and mold making is done with storing molds and a, very few products are, are very ultra high production. So what happens is now we can, not, we can print the part and not print the tooling. Makes it faster to get it from proof of concept to actually into production and on limited production it actually eliminates storing the tool which causes a lot of problem for space storage and money but also a lot of the atmospherical conditions will ruin the, a die over a period of time. So therefore the part keeps its integrity by being stored as a file and can be retrieved at any time to actually be printed. And the fact that with a CNC machine you actually have to program each tool to go to each area and actually cut it, there are no tools. And there's no tools to break, there's no setup, the part's actually printed, and that's why the timeline is so much shortened and you're not having all these materials that have to be thrown into landfills. You actually are putting each part of that material product right into the part. As with any product, when it first comes out, even like the conventional microwaves that used to be $2,000 or now less than 100, is that the price tag on these is fairly high. Right now, it works best to use them in a like a consortium type of a, a, an environment. And what we're finding is, and we've actually formed one here in, uh, up at the NAMI Center in Youngstown, we're very excited on how we can help all the people in the foundry industry see the benefit of these machines, believing that the speed will come. They actually now are great for prototyping, and it actually gets uh, the part to the foundry from the engineering department a lot quicker. In many cases, tooling for an engine could be somewhere or upwards towards a half a million dollars. And when they make that, all that tooling to make that part, they could come to find that for some reason it doesn't work. In this case, a part may be able to be produced for you know $20,000, and if it doesn't work, they redesign it and they just print another model. And when you look at a cost of a half a million dollars in 20 or 24 weeks to build that tool, and you can actually turn this prototype around in less than two weeks, it, it's a very exciting concept. As the speed of the machines continue to accelerate in their print speeds, it, it will be one day where there's a factory of just these machines sitting there and printing them and, and us retraining our industrial athletes to, to become uh, programmers and to support the technology and the, and the high performance maintenance of those machines. BusinessJournalDaily.com, three minutes with, is sponsored by... How well is your wealth? I thought so. I'm prescribing wealth management for Farmers National Bank. Farmers National Bank. Stand strong with our wealth management services.